Hello everyone, in this video we are given this interesting problem. We have x plus 3 or to the third power is equal to 1 and we have to find the values of x. But before we begin, if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. A lot of people will tackle this problem this way. x plus 3 or to the third power is equal to 1. They will just take cube root on each side of the equation. So that this one will cancel this, we have x plus 3 is equal to, because the cube root is odd number, we're just going to have 1. And then they'll make x the subject, so we're going to have x is equal to 1 minus 3, which is x is equal to negative 2. Don't get me wrong, this is a solution to the problem, but we don't know whether the equation has some other solutions. And besides, the question didn't ask us to find only real solution. It was not stated in the question, right? So I would advise that we don't use this approach. So what do we do? First of all, let's equate everything to zero. So we're going to have x plus 3 or to the third power minus 1 is equal to zero. 1 could be written in so many forms. It could be written as 1 to the third power, right? So let's go ahead and then cube this one. Then from here, we will apply algebraic identity. That is a to the third power minus b to the third power is equal to a minus b times a to the second power plus ab plus b to the second power. So the equation now becomes x plus 3 minus 1 times x plus 3 all squared plus x plus 3 times 1 plus 1 squared which is still 1 and this is equal to 0. Let's simplify this whole thing first. We're going to have x plus 2 then let's expand this one. We're going to have x to the second power plus 6x plus 9 plus what we have here, x plus 3 plus 1. And this is equal to 0. And we can simplify this further. We have x plus 2 times x squared plus 6x plus x, that is 7x. 9 plus 3 plus 1, that is... 13 and this is equal to 0. At this point, we can say that x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x to the second power plus 7x plus 13 is equal to 0. And like we know before, x from here is equal to negative 2. We know this to be a real solution already. Then from here, we will just discriminate by using the discriminant formula, which is delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac. b is the coefficient of x, and then a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Then c is the constant 13. So let's put this into the formula. So we have delta is equal to 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times 13. So delta is equal to 49 minus 4 times 13, that is 52. And we are getting delta to be minus 3. Because delta is less than 0, it means that the quadratic equation over here has no real solution. But since the question didn't state that we should find the real solution, Let's go ahead and then find the complex solution by using the quadratic equation that is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of delta divided by 2 times a. So we have x is equal to b is 7, so we're going to have minus 7 plus or minus square root of negative 3 divided by 2 times 1, which is still 2. So we have x is equal to minus 7 plus or minus i times square root of 3. 
square root of negative 3 is i times square root of 3 all divided by 2 so we have two complex solutions for x it is either x is equal to negative 7 plus i times root 3 divided by 2 or x is equal to negative 7 minus i times square root of 3 divided by 2. So we see that there are two complex solutions and then one real solution which is x equals negative 2. If you found this video useful, please don't just go. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, tap on the bell notification and also like this video, comment and share. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.